What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. This video is brought to you guys by Wondershare, and we're taking a look at their Filmora Pro application. Now, this is for professionals, but of course, anyone can learn this. But if you're good with maybe like Premiere, then this is the equivalent of that. And of course, don't forget to go ahead and check out filmstocks.com where you can get yourself some really interesting stock videos and stock photos all within the same platform. So let me show you guys how to use this particular software. So when you first go ahead and open it up, you get yourself a bunch of options. You get your trimmer, your viewer, just like any old application and editing application. And of course we have our controls and then we also have the editing timeline and last but not least our footage. So I wanna add some new footage into here. So I'm simply gonna go into my file manager and I already have a song picked out for this particular video. And next off, I'm gonna jump into videos and I'm gonna choose maybe, let's choose this particular video or maybe actually, Let's choose this video. This looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna jump and toss this into here. And then I'm simply gonna drag it and now the audio itself along with the video goes and inserts itself into my timeline. Unfortunately, this video is kind of tiny so we need to make this fit, right? So I'm actually gonna go and jump into the controls and the clip properties. And now I'm able to go and rescale this so it fits a lot better. So you can mess with it that way. You can increase, of course, how big it is and I'm gonna maybe toss this up just a little bit so it looks like that and so when I play it this is what it'll look like which is really really cool okay basic editing out of the way now of course I can go and right click on this clip and I have different blending modes directly in here so if I want to add a color burn or something of those sorts that is completely an option I can go ahead and add a motion blur directly into here other editing applications you have to literally keyframe motion blur so that's a big deal and of course unfortunately I don't have any clips underneath this so maybe I want to go and drag uh, maybe this 2k footage directly underneath here throw toss this up on my timeline and now of course I can go ahead and really see that color burn effect in uh, in of course this particular format so how cool is that next off I want to show you guys something interesting you can of course go and mess with the audio as well and they have a full-on auto audio mixer built directly in here so if you're mastering audio that's really really cool and another cool thing is they also have effects in here so maybe I want to let's find some more footage so I want to show you guys some of my footage that I shot in of course California and I'm gonna toss this directly into my timeline all right and after that okay so this looks this footage looks pretty cool right but we're actually gonna go and maybe zoom in just a little bit on this I'm gonna go and maybe make it look like that and maybe I want it to be up a little bit all right that looks pretty nice right so now what exactly are we capable of doing well as you guys can see we have a variety of mask options as well so I can simply jump down in here and now we can add a mask or we can go ahead and add some effects and inside of here there are a billion different effects that you can go and add there's color grading tools there's keying tools there's a, you can generate clouds and whatnot which is just absolutely ridiculous I'm gonna go ahead and actually do that real quick and just like that we have full-fledged crazy looking clouds built directly into here but we don't really need those at the moment so I'm actually gonna go and jump back onto this cliff and I'm gonna add something that we're a bit more relevant to this particular video and let's do some color grading right let's let's do some let's let's add some curves all right and now i can double click this and as you guys can see this is where the professional aspect comes in we can do our usual three point curve and we can maybe go ahead and drop that a little bit and increase that we also want to get rid of these clouds so i'm going to get rid of that and within two seconds look how much cooler or different my footage looks all just by messing with the curves but unfortunately i don't think this looks too too awesome so i'm actually going to go and add one more effect on here and maybe we actually want to go and mess with maybe the color balance all right and now once again i'm going to double click on this and now i can mess with the shadows and i can rebalance how certain colors look I can go and increase this drop down this and now I think it actually genuinely looks just a tad bit better than it did a second ago now there's dozens upon dozens of effects that you can go and mess with so we're gonna jump to the next section which is adding some text and once again this is professional grade so as you guys can see they have a billion different options here for adding certain title formats and of course we're gonna go and add some crazy title let's or maybe we shouldn't do crazy maybe we should do something interesting you choose the ones you want and then you import it into here they can drag and drop literally all of them simultaneously on here so here are some options on what that one would look we're just gonna test them all out I personally think this one looks the best so I'm actually gonna delete the rest of them and I keep this one okay so now we're gonna go and click this and now get this I can go and choose a different color that I want directly from within the timeline and when you click the color thing it gives you the hue the reds the saturation and you can add custom colors in here along with you can add direct HTML code colors directly in here as well if you're doing some web development or something of those sorts I can also edit this text so maybe I want to go ahead and call this smart tech and call this maybe like 2019 or something of those sorts 
or actually it's 2020 guys putting that out there all right and that looks pretty cool looks pretty okay at the moment and then we can actually go and mess with a variety of other things for example maybe I don't like this text maybe I want to change it a little bit right I want to use like Sentry or something of those sorts you can go ahead and do that and look how many font options they have we got a little Photoshop in here how cool is this and of course these are all the variety of font options we have and then of course we can mess with the spacing the kerning and so on and so forth so if you want to mess with all that it is perfectly feasible there is also an option to mess with the layout so if you want to align this text to the center to the left to the right so on and so forth very very easy to to do so another favorite thing about this is the trimmer that's built into here so if you want to take a look at each individual clip and then trim it before you toss it into your timeline it's perfectly easy to do that another cool thing that I really like is this little magnet tool right here this basically allows you to go and mess with multiple options and whatnot so everything will kind of stick to each other anyone who's ever used magnet on like the premiere or final car or anything of those sorts you guys know the deal and of course there is a few other options we can disable a clip by doing that we can lock the clip so lock the timeline so it doesn't move and we can mess with the audio directly in there last but not least guys I want to show you guys some of the interesting things that they have for example they have meters over here for your audio and inside of options we can mess with 8-bit or 16-bit float and we can even go ahead and change the background color overall and mess with color channels so if you're doing some serious color grading and you want things to mess with work with your monitor well you can go ahead and use RGB alpha red green blue so on and so forth on all, all this thing has just about everything you could possibly need built into it and of course you can go ahead and mess with the 10 million effects so you can go and just start keying and distorting and grunging and generating and so on and so forth the options are endless and you can make a full-fledged video all within this particular application hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if so leave a like and don't forget to subscribe thank you guys for watching this is going to be me logging off